cuties, I am here for my 39 week update. You have no idea how crazy to me that is to say that, to even be at 39 weeks, especially because of all the bumps in the road that we've had during this pregnancy. Um, it's just really surreal and I'm really grateful to be at this point and just really thankful to be at this point and to have made it this far. Um, it's just, it's really amazing and uh, because I've made it this far, this is most likely going to be my last pregnancy vlog because the next time that you guys see me in a sit down video, hopefully um, it will be me introdu introducing baby girl and sharing her name reveal. We do plan on filming the birth, um, I'm not sure how much footage I'll be able to get, um, but I do want to film at least um, a little bit so we can have those memories and something to look back on and I'm sure that all of you are um, wanting to see that as well. Go ahead and jump into symptoms this week. I've had a little bit of nausea. Um, I've talked about that in my last um, in last week's update in my 38 week update. Um, I have also started to experience the um, hip and pubic bone pain. Um, I've actually felt that quite a bit this week. Um, it's gotten to the point where it's a little difficult to walk at times, especially if I'm walking um, long distances or walking for a long period of time. Um, I do start to feel that pain and that pressure. Um, I've also had a lot of swelling in my face and my hands, my fingers especially. I no longer wear my wedding rings, which um, kind of, which isn't disappointing because I do like wearing them. I feel naked without wear. I feel like weird not wearing it. Like I feel almost naked. I guess I don't know how to explain it. Um, I've also had a runny nose on and off, um, which is a new symptom for me. I've never really had that except for allergies. Baby girl's movements aren't really strong. Um, she doesn't move a ton because she is pretty squished in there. Um, but when she does move, it kind of looks like my belly is like a scene out of the movie Alien. Um, I can definitely see her like poking out little feet or arms or elbows or knees or whatever. I was able to catch that on video, so hopefully I'll be posting that soon as well. She's doing great. Um, I didn't. I wasn't able to go to my last appointment. Um, I actually went to the wrong office thinking that it was the one that I was supposed to go to, so I didn't go to that last one, but I did have my preoperative testing for our C-section and everything turned out fine there. My blood pressure was a little on the high side. Once I had laid down on my left side for a little bit, they rechecked it and my blood pressure was um, A-OK -okay there. So no concerns there. Um, basically, you know, it's just kind of the routine C scheduled C-section and I'm going to be doing a birth plan, which will explain exactly why I'm having a C-section and kind of what my plans are for that. Um, in case you guys haven't watched um, any of my previous videos and aren't really familiar with our journey, I kind of I will plan on, I plan on going into detail um, in that video, which will be after this one. To get some questions, um, I had posted a GoFundMe account on my Facebook page, and I did I kind of wanted to touch base in this video for that, um, just you know to answer any questions that you guys might have or the ones I've already gotten to hopefully raise some money to um, have Dave here for Christmas. Um, he is coming in for birth, but he's not able to stay very long due to work. Um, and he's not able to spend a lot of time with us because he does have to work here. He have to work remotely while he's here. And um, it was really hard over Thanksgiving, um, you know, for all of us, for Dave, for myself, and for Dallas, um, that, you know, we weren't together as a family. And it kind of really put it into perspective that... Um, you know, we really want to be together as a family on Christmas. And he does have a few days off. Um, thankfully, Christmas falls on a Friday this year, and he does have weekends off. So he'll, hopefully, if I'm able to raise the money, um, he'll be able to be here for Christmas and a few days afterward. Um, I'm trying not to get emotional talking about it because it has been so hard without him here. And... Um, <laughs> It just, um, it's been hard, it's been really difficult, it's um, definitely um, tested our marriage and tested, you know, us as a couple and um, it's it's made us communicate more, which is a good thing. Um, you know, we're, we're doing fine, <laughs> we just miss each other a lot, Dave misses his, his, you know, misses Dallas and Dallas really misses him. And, you know, I really want him to be here for baby girl's first Christmas and, you know, for Dallas to have his daddy on Christmas because 
um, that's really important and you know otherwise Dave would be alone on Christmas and you know nobody wants to be alone on Christmas nobody wants to be without their family on Christmas and um, I don't know it's just it's been really difficult but it was a difficult decision to come here um, and it's a difficult you know difficult to be so far away from you know your spouse the person that you love dearly I, I had set up the GoFundMe page um, I will have a link for it down below. Please don't feel obligated to donate at all. I'm not asking for that. Um, I just wanted to answer any questions that you all might have for that. Um, I did just want to sincerely thank all of you for following this journey. Um, and I hope you continue to follow this journey because I do plan on doing more videos after she's born and other videos, um, that kind of correlate to being a mommy of two and just having a newborn in general. And I'm also going to be doing a side series for my website, which is twolinesfertility.com. Um, if you guys did not know, I am a certified fertility counselor. I'll be doing, I will be accepting consultations and hopefully um, future employees after the first of the year. Um, so I've been working really hard on that along with, <laughs> um, you know, having a baby too. So you guys kind of stay tuned in for that. And if you have any questions about that at all, um, you can always email me. I have my email in the description bar down below. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my bump shot. For, I'll see you guys for um, our introduction video of Baby Girl and our name reveal.